Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at one more important interview question that was asked in Accenture. I got this question from one of my LinkedIn connections and I request all of you to go ahead and send me your interview questions that you have been asked in several companies in the comment section. If you have already not subscribed to the channel, I request you to go ahead and subscribe to it because I'll be bringing in more interview questions and answers. Let's begin. I'll just quickly go ahead and give the scenario first. So let's go to the data tab and I will click in the sales. You just have two columns in the table, which is sales and country. Now, the thing is, if the country is India, then you need to append a rupees symbol in, in the front. If the country is US, then you need to append dollar symbol. If the country is Japan, then yen. And if it is Europe, then uh, you have to append this with pound. Now, it's a very easy thing, right? You will say that I can write another, I, I can go ahead and do one more. You can easily do this using a concatenation as well. You will just create a particular column and write with case when it is India, then rupees, when it is US, then it is dollar, and then you will concatenate that particular column with uh, country uh, country column, right? And you will get the desired output. But the interviewer asked specifically not to do this with concatenation, okay? You cannot create a, uh, a separate column and then concatenate that column with the country because it's going to affect the performance. So the con interview question was, you need to do this in a single sort using DAX, Okay, so let me go ahead and show you uh, my solution. Obviously, there might be multiple solutions. So how I will do this and let us create a new column and let us name this column. So for this, we'll use format. And the first argument that you need to pass inside format is value. So I'm going to convert the values of sales. So I'll pass sales over here. But then there is going to be a catch because now I need different currencies based on the country. So I'll give a switch statement. And I'll put the first expression inside switch as country. And I'll say when the country is India, then the I just need rupees appended. So I'll put currency when it is US, I need dollars. So you can give dollar. But after dollar, you have to specify that you need the number from the sales, right? So for that, you have to give a hash. I'll be giving a link. All the things regarding formats are given in that links. Okay. Now, when it is Japan, right? So this is a bit tricky. You need the type to be yen, yen and hash. There is no symbol in your keyboard which can bring in yen, right? So for that, all you have to do is follow this particular rule for euro and for yen. For yen, if I go ahead and place an alt, you have to give an alt. Okay, so I'm writing this. And along with the alt key, you have to press 0165 for yen symbol. So I'll place the alt key in my uh, laptop and I press 0165 and release and I'll get a yen symbol. So I'll now copy this yen symbol and I will paste it over here. Right, and then I need the exact number for that. I need to give hash. After that, I'll go to Europe. Right, it's the entire continent. So, you if even if it's in France or in let's say Spain, right? So, all the European countries are, are accumulated as a single Europe, uh, as a single value called Europe. And uh, the currency that I'm looking forward is Euro, right? And so, I'll just give in over here if it is Europe then I need euro symbol, right? And for euro, again, I have to give an alt and 0128. So I'll press alt and 0128 and I'll get the euro symbol. I'll copy this euro symbol from my notepad. I'll paste it over here and followed by the hash, right? And that's it. I'll close my switch and go to the next line, close my format. Let's see what is the output of the currency. Yeah, so for India, it is showing in rupees. For US, it is showing in dollars, Japan, yen, and Europe as euro. Now, uh, one more important thing, when you are giving the default as currency, so there will be a space between your local, my local is rupees, right? So uh, local currency, which is rupees, and the value, which is why you're having a space between rupees and the 
value you're not having any space over here so for that you can fix that by giving a space so you have to just give a space between dollar and hash yen and hash and euro and hash and just press on enter and you will be giving getting the spaces over here as well right so yeah uh, that's it for this video guys and uh, if you're liking my videos uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions related to this particular video go ahead and give it in the comment section i'll be happy to answer if you are attending interview questions and answers for any company i request you to go ahead and give them in the comment section or mail me in your power bi zone at gmail.com so that i can make videos and i can help the community get better so thank you so much for your time as usual have a nice day bye bye